Yo, what's going to look into the Solely Entertainment TV, and today we are back doing another boss hunt. I say boss hunt, but we're going to be starting off with some bandits, uh, just because they also give you, um, well, they also give you weapons and armor and stuff like that. Um, and I know that I said in the giveaway video that I wasn't going to mention the giveaway video in these next couple of videos that are popping up. I won't mention how you get the extra entries, etc., etc., but I wanted to just bring it up just to thank you guys for uh, hitting 600 subs. We hit 600 subs uh, last night while I was asleep, of course. I was asleep. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we hit 600 subs. Um, we're getting a lot of interaction on that video. Lots of new subs. Lots of lots of old subs. I see, I see a lot of people who have been subbed for, for quite a long time. And a lot of people might not know this, you know, if you don't upload videos. But, um... I can see if you've been uploaded. Like, some people will say, like, oh, I've been uploaded, I've been, or I've been, uh, I've been subscribed for two years. And not that I've seen it on my channel, but I'm just saying, there, there are probably people on other people's channels that say, like, oh, I've been subscribed for two years. I can see that. If, if you tell me you've been subscribed for two years, I can see whether or not you've been subscribed for two years. You get a little, you get, like, a little, it looks kind of like a med pack um, next to your name that tells me that you've been sub openly subbed to my channel. Well, I mean like it could be that you just don't show your subscribers, but like if you're if you openly show your subscribers and you say you've been subbed to me for two years, I can see that. Um lots of new subs, lots of great interaction. Um I already have everybody's name written down uh from that video. So I wanna say good luck to everybody. Um and with I just had a loot over here, it just disappeared. What the hell happened? Hello? Well, anyway, with all that being said, uh, let's cut the mic and get with the speeding up of the video, because, you know, that's what we're... Okay, I'm just getting blown on left and right. That's what we're here for. So let's get right, right to that.
Okay, guys, I think that's where we're going to end the video. Um, obviously, I'm going to do the scrap because I always do the scrap at the end of these videos just to show you guys how much money I make. Um, so I might as well just clear out my bank account. I might as well st uh, state it right now while I'm doing this. I think there might be one or two loots in my inventory that weren't shown in this video. Um, I know this one for a fact wasn't. It's because, like, I found it on a random loot and then I just I forgot to hit the, the unpause button. But um, I still did find it. Obviously, I didn't buy a steel MS-800 to scrap, clearly. But anyway, uh, let's see how much we get uh, for this. I am just going to scrap that M4 because they don't sell for much more than, well, what they scrap for. Oh, sick. Cool. Cool. Love the connection errors. Um, that's always fun. You know, it, it, it's always fun to know the game is, is working properly and um, has changed really over the last half a decade. You know, that hasn't been a problem forever. Um, this one here as well, I believe I found this uh, off screen as well. But I think that's the only two that I did find off screen. Um, the Kukri, I am just scrapping that. Because I think I have a God Crafted Kukri that um, either I got crafted or somebody got crafted and sent to me just be, just for the memes. Uh, so $530,000, you know, ha over half a million. Uh, not bad overall. Um... Yeah, yeah, I love boss hunting. It's fun. Maybe it, some people have been trying to explain to me how to work the boss hunts um, down in Death Row. I still don't think they're worth it. I'm gonna be honest with you, just for a chance to get a master crafted item that isn't tech, that isn't even good. Like it could still be like I think somebody explained to me the the worst thing they could drop is a master crafted sledgehammer, which. I mean, pump tens of thousands of bullets into a zombie or into a boss and killing all the aggro around in the area, taking you half an hour to kill a potential boss for potentially a minimum of a $20,000 loot, $25,000 loot, or just fight like I did, what, 20 bosses, maybe 15 to 20 bosses, get $530,000 and spend at maximum, because obviously I speed these videos up. But I think at maximum for the entire thing was like 25 minutes of actual boss fighting. I don't know, dude. It just doesn't seem worth it to me. I mean, like the fact that you can find like the, like the Tempest and all that stuff. Like, yeah, that, that seems cool. But you also just as equally have just as high of a chance of, well, not just as high of a chance of looting it from like a regular area because you're guaranteed to get the weapon or armor versus the 3.75%. But if you do find a weapon or, or an armor in the uh, in Death Row, you still have like the same percentage chance of getting a sledgehammer or a tempest. At least I think. I don't know what the exact breakdown is. Um, but I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to end this video. Um, with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, the like button, the subscribe button, and share button. Definitely leave a comment down below letting me know what you, what you thought of the video, what you want to see next, whether or not you just think I'm ugly. Anything, any interaction on my channel is much appreciated. Um, and definitely be sure to go down to turn on post notifications so you can notify every time I upload a video because you're not going to miss what is next. Thank you guys so much for watching.